Hey y'all, welcome to Willow 219. I'm just gonna give you a little tour around. So this is a little kitchen area. This is the kitchen. Pro tip, get a toaster because there's not an oven up here. There is an oven in the Coyote kitchen. I use this every single day and so does everybody else. Here's our coffee station, our little Keurig, some little sugars. Yeah, this is our kitchen. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> now this is our living room. We gave you this couch and I'll show you. It's really ugly though. I forgot how ugly it is. <laughs> and they also give you this chair, which is the same. Kylie brought that futon. We brought everything else other than the couch and the chair and then the kitchen table. They give you that. There's also two kitchen chairs, which we have stowed somewhere. We gave them to our friends in the other room. That's perfect. This is the best part. This is our highlights of 219. So when anything happens funny or just memorable, we write it on something. For example, Corona. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Ellie. Welcome to my room. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Welcome to my room, Willow 219 room A. I really love it. It's starting to feel like home. Love having all my roommates in here with me. It's the best. Come live on the wall. Photo wall. Yeah, this is my really cute boyfriend. <laughs> okay. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome to 219C. Follow me in. Alrighty, here we have my room. My name is Ashley, by the way, if you didn't know that. Um, but <laughs> this is my room. I've got some nice, you know, bookshelf, books, all the things. Um, I'll be, of course, you know how it is. Oh, hoodie who, baby? Hoodie who? Yeah, this is my closet. Um, it's not super organized, sorry. This is my bed. This is my squishmallow. Um, his name's Francis. And this is my wall, which I'm like pretty proud of, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of just memories on this wall. We have some Kaio sisters here. Um, some, another, oh, this is a good one too. Good semi, semi-formal memory. Just a ton of memories from friendships that I made in Auburn. And, oh, yeah, where you go? Oh, initiation ro um. Rose. Oh yeah, my initiation carnation. <laughs> carnation. Um, of course, my initiation carnation. Um, who do you, baby? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Hey y'all, I'm Sarah Renshaw, and this is my room. Come on in. <laughs> so I'm lucky enough to have the corner room. Flex. Yeah, but I got it by like random. They have to. <laughs> I got it assigned to me. If you become friends with the housing chair, you might get Willow 219D, That's which true. is the extra large handicap room. This is my favorite time of day because the sun shines in and I just sit here all the time. But these are my wall of flowers. My boyfriend likes to give me flowers and my family members and I always dry them and they all have tags on them saying what they're from. This is from the Iron Bowl, the bushes War right Eagle. in front of the block section. War Eagle, it's initiation carnation. <laughs> The closet's small, but the room size makes up for it. Yeah. Right here. Hey y'all, I'm Kylie and this is my room. Whoa, 219 room B. Shout out to my roommates. They've been filling my dorm room. Wait. They've been filling my dorm with all these awesome notes, so get yourself roommates who are encouragers. Got my family first, you know, never forget. Gotta call the fam every day. Mm. Fun fact, my bedspread was flipped from last year. See what you can use next year from your current dorm. It's fantastic. Look at the organization. Thank you, thank you. Get an awesome view of this parking lot. You can see many, many people get out of their car with their boyfriend. It's really great, you get the scoop. Here's my photo wall, you know, all the great memes from freshman year. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Why should the new baby hoodies live on the hall? It is just the best time because I can literally jump from room to room with all of my friends and I get to know so many people and it's just so easy to just access everything. Plus you get to just walk downstairs for chapter. Um, it's super close to everything and it's just super fun. It really creates a good community um, within Kayo. So yeah. <laughs> it's rolling. <laughs> Girls, let me just cut it to the chase. Wait, you got the phrase. <laughs> Let me just shoot you straight. You have to live on the hall because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. You cannot live on the hall your junior year, senior year, grad school. You cannot live on the hall after sophomore year. Guess what? You can live in an apartment the next two years. So you can save that for later. Live on the hall 
now because this is your only chance and one day you can tell your kids when I lived on the Cayo Hall at Auburn and they'll think you're so cool. So I'm telling you now, I'll be disappointed if you don't live on the hall. You'll never get to do it again. A lot of people say that it's cheaper to live in an apartment. However, crunch some numbers and our friends that live in 221 pay $100 less than we do per month. When you live in 221, a couple things aren't included. So furniture here, you get some furniture. There you have to fully furnish everything yourself. You live here, we don't buy groceries every single week because we're on the dining plan. So our parents are paying for most of our food. Whereas our friends that live in 221, they go to the grocery every single week and it adds up. So at the end of the day, everything kind of evens out and it's about the same price to live in here or in an apartment. Another great reason you should live on the hall is the village has the perfect dimensions for you to put this guy 40 million different ways. 10 yeah. out of 10 recommend redecorating your room. Kylie likes to redecorate her room a little bit more than most people. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for Thanks watching. Thanks for watching.